Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I will be explaining you about the package air conditioning system, how it is working and its troubleshooting. In this picture you can see this part is the evaporator part, then you have the compressor, then you have the condenser, then you have the expansion valve. So how the package AC works is the compressor compresses the freon and then it goes to the condenser here and it is cooled and liquid is collected here. The cooling takes place by water circulation in and out and the liquid freon from here passes all the way through this point and this is the charging point for liquid. Then the liquid passes through here in this pipe, you can see the arrow mark. Then we have one valve here, one valve here. This is the dryer. Then you have the expansion valve. From the expansion valve, the, the liquid will then convert into gas and pass through the evaporator uh, where the cooling will take place. So we have the uh, fan running here. This is the motor, fan motor. So the, the air comes through here, passes through the evaporator, cools the air and passes out. So this is the fa fan driven motor and we have the blowers here. So it will suck the air from here, cool it, go out. So what is happening here is the gas then comes all the way, is sucked by the compressor, compressed and back again. So what problem normally we face is either the compressor will trip due to low pressure here this is the low pressure pressure gauge then you have the high pressure side you can see this is the high pressure gauge so it can trip due to high pressure or low pressure then you have the water pressure if the water pressure is less the cooling will not happen then also it will trip then we have the dryer here take care of the any water vapor in the system it will absorb then we have the expansion valve so today I will be explaining you about the expansion valve and its function how it is working this bulb is connected here so the bulb will when get heated up it will open the expansion valve more so I will be explaining you today about the malfunction of the expansion valve here. Uh, this is the Danfoss expansion valve. Uh, this number is uh, uh, TS12 and the range is from minus 40 degrees to plus 10 degrees. Pressure range of 28 bar. So what actually happens is this is the bulb which will expand be liquid will be inside this which will expand and uh, press the diaphragm here uh, to operate the expansion wall so if you see this expansion wall it will be like this and the bulb will be on the uh, return line of the evaporator so what is happening is you can operate uh, the spring tension you can open this here and rotate this when you are rotating this there is a special tool to rotate this when you can rotate this the spring uh, tension will be adjusted so normally for uh, Freon 404A it is 26 uh, mm so if you see this when I open it you can see it is something like this uh, it will be fitted inside here and uh, when you are rotating the if you rotate this this one you can see here this will rotate the ratchet here in order to increase the uh, tension of the spring if you see this this ratchet can be this can be rotated this rotation can be done by rotating this so there is a ratchet arrangement here you can see here you can see a ratchet type so when you rotate this 
this will move the uh, wheel here in order to increase the tension. So I wanted to show you how it looks from inside. You can see inside uh, when the expansion takes place in this, this will press the diaphragm. This diaphragm will press this, this portion of the rod here in order to open the valve here. So I will show you also uh, this will be going like this. There is a slot here. There is a slot here. This will be going like this inside straight like this. Then this spindle will move down. So the liquid coming from here will come out through this and the expansion will take place and it will form into gas. So I am pulling it out to show you how it looks like. So you can see this. So this distance need to be measured uh, as per the manual. You can increase the tension or decrease. You can see this and you can open this. There is a circlip here. You can open this. The spring will come out and this spindle will move when you can see this. When you press this, you can see it's moving. So this can be, this is how it is. So the liquid, this will get pressed and the liquid will escape through this to form gas. So this distance is very important. Suppose that you want to increase the tension, you can use the ratchet here to adjust the tension. So this, you can dismantle it. You can see, you can just press this out to remove this. Uh, so clip here when you remove this the spring will come out so this part is simple so if you have any doubt you can message me thank you welcome to marine tech hub today I will be explaining you about the air condition plant the gas charging so in this picture you can see this is the compressor and this is the motor it is driven by belt like this we have four motors and four compressors so this is used for the centralized AC of the ship similar system will be used for big complexes or the mall where the centralized air condition will be similar to this so I will be explaining you in detail how this will, will be working and how I'm going to charge the gas. You can see this is the condenser part and this is the receiver. We've got two sets this side and two sets on the other side. We've got four motors and four compressors and this is the receiver part and now I'm going to charge gas. This is the Freon bottle 404A. I'm trying to connect and open gas. When you keep the bottle straight, only gas will come out so I am trying to release the air in the hose so that only gas go inside initially once you are able to release the air what you have to do is you have to close the receiver this is the receiver here close the receiver run the compressor keep running the compressor and uh, close the receiver here and open the charging line so this is a special uh, span spanners we have ratchet type you can open this and this is in this you have the filter also so what we are doing is I am closing the liquid which is coming from the receiver and opening the charging point initially I will be opening the gas side uh, so that the air in the hose if it is anything it can be escaped by opening here then close it so that all the air is out then you open the gas once that is done, then you can make the bottle upside down so that the liquid will be charging the AC plant. So what you do, now you turn it upside down. Once you turn it upside down, that means all the liquid will be going now. So very important point here is, uh, this is the receiver where the liquid is there. So I am closing this side and putting liquid here now. So you have to make sure that you are charging at the right point. Huh? So you can see the side glass here. Uh, gas liquid will be coming. You can see and note, note down. You can see the gas here. 
so charge it up so gas will fill up here so the freon system how it works i will be explaining you separately uh, if you have any message regarding the charging let me know thank you